Psalm 144, verse 1, 4, 9, 10, and 15. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for war and my fingers for battle. Man is like a breath, his days are like a passing shadow. I will sing a new song to you, O God. On a harp of ten strings, I will sing praises to you. The, the one who gives salvation to kings, who delivers David, his servant, from the deadly sword. Happy are such people who are in such state. Happy are the people whose God is the Lord. Sing, shout, clap your hands, give praise unto your maker. Make the joyful noise unto the Lord. Sing, shout. Sing, shout, and clap your hands, give praise unto your maker. For the Lord, He is Almighty. This is the day. This is the day of celebration. This is the day to rejoice. The Lord our God is our deliverer. So let's just praise His name. Sing, shout. Sing, shout, and clap your hands. Give praise unto Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Sing, shout, and clap your hands. Give praise unto your Maker. For the Lord, He is Almighty God. This is the day. This is the day of celebration. This is the day to rejoice. The Lord our God is our deliverer, so let's just praise His name. Sing, shout. Sing, shout, and clap your hands. Give praise unto your Maker. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Sing and shout. Sing, shout, and clap your hands. Give praise unto your Maker. For the Lord, He is Almighty God. For the Lord, for the Lord, He is Almighty God. For the Lord, for the Lord, He is Almighty God. You did not wait for me. You did not wait for me. Draw near to you, but you clothe yourself in frail humanity. You did not wait for me to cry out to you, but you let me hear your voice calling me. I'm forever grateful.
upon you yourself all my sins upon yourself i can only stand I amazed can only stand amazed. and i cry holy I cry holy holy holy, holy God. how awesome is your name upon awesome holy 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 god Majestic your reign. How majestic is your name. And I am changed. And I am changed. In the presence. In the presence of the Holy God. In the presence of your infinite mind. I'm so small. I'm so small and frail. Your power and your when wisdom, I Lord. I see your power and your wisdom, Lord. I have no words left to I speak. I have no words left to speak. I cry and I cry, holy, holy, holy God. How awesome! How presence in the presence of the holy God and I am changed and I am changed by the presence by the presence of the holy God for the Father, we bless you, we worship you, we adore you, we thank you for this day that you have given to us. We love you because you love us. We thank you for your love that you poured in our hearts in and through the person of Christ Jesus. We thank you for your saving grace. 
we thank you for your light we thank you for your wisdom we thank you for your understanding and above all we thank you for your peace that surpasses everything thank you jesus that you are our peace thank you that we are safe and secure in you jesus thank you that you are our strong tower thank you that you take us under your wings thank you that you cover us and shelter us thank you that we live in your presence that we abide in you thank you for the fruitfulness thank you for the presence that brings the joy of god the holy spirit upon our lives thank you that there is nothing of this world that sticks too long into our hearts but everything just fades away in your presence in your light in your love in your joy and in the work of god the holy spirit thank you thank you thank you thank you for your peace your joy your love in us we love you jesus we thank you we bless you we adore you we worship you we honor magnify glorify your name we bow before you king of kings lord of hosts worthy lamb who will come again to rule to reign your kingdom come in us among us bless you we just submit and surrender we yield to you we pray that you minister to us this morning by the power of your word which is alive active bless heal deliver transform touch bring heavenly life into us and our families and conform us to your likeness for thine alone is the kingdom the power the glory the authority both now and forever jesus in your precious holy magnificent name we pray amen amen and amen please be seated let's open our bibles this morning to romans chapter 12 romans chapter 12 and we read from verse 3 romans chapter 12 verse 3 for i say yeah. through the grace given to me yeah to every one who is among you not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think don't think highly of yourself yeah don't think highly of yourself why read but to think soberly think soberly as god has dealt to each one a measure of faith god has dealt god has gifted god has blessed god has equipped god has strengthened god has given you something that you have amen it's not something that you have it's been given by god grace came touched brought life transformed my lowly life and blessed me with jesus's life amen grace so i cannot think highly of myself why listen carefully read for as we have many members in one body yeah but all the members do not have the same function then so we being many huh? are one body in christ ah we being many here all are one body in jesus christ each one has received faith grace gifts abilities talents strengths from god the father in christ jesus to do various things in the body all the parts of the body are not same each part is so different but each part individually functions in all the fullness and each part is connected to the head and in the head through the head connects to all other parts of the body amen see 
in the head through the head to all other parts of the body but the main function the main supply comes from the head now if you are not connected to the head then very difficult to connect with one another <laughs> imagine the hand saying no i won't listen to the head <laughs> i will do what i want so i'll slap you <laughs> but you have to listen to the head the head is saying don't do it the head gives the orders to the whole body to function that's why there is order in the physical body because the head supplies all what is needed if any part of your body is disconnected to the head it's called paralysis what is it called paralysis so that part is paralyzed it cannot function cannot move does not do things is not able to connect to the other parts of the body are you understanding now so if i'm not connected to the head jesus i cannot connect to people properly understood i will be as i want to be that's why the first thing he started with grace has been given to you not to think highly about yourself think soberly more down to earth humble know that you are connected to the head and in and through the head you are connected to others amen then functioning becomes easy then you understand not what you want but what the head wants amen otherwise it is i want i feel i think i believe i are wait wait one minute one minute one minute have you asked the head what the head wants can you say paralysis that area is fully paralyzed it it's just going by itself not functioning with the other parts of the body it has got a stroke <laughs> it's got a stroke so are you in a paralytic stroke by any chance in your family <laughs> of god <laughs> where you are functioning by yourself doing what you think you want how you want where you want what you want no 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 i i'll do what i want i am i i i hold it connect to the head connect to the head jesus and once you connect to the head then slowly you know you understand slowly you receive message slowly you receive thoughts slowly you receive knowledge slowly you are given the strength and the ability and the faith and the courage and the last and the most but the first humility then you learn to function with others well see you learn to function with others others it's very difficult for us to live with people very difficult for us to adjust with people that's why even paul says love sums up everything he says don't bite one another that's the word he used don't bite and tear one another yeah that's exactly what will happen we'll bite and tear one another see and that's the reason here he says first understand please be sober please be humble and that can only come if you know that you have offered yourself as a living sacrifice to god see every day that's why that word is every day offer yourself as a living sacrifice to god don't conform to the ways of the world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may know what is the perfect will of god that is good pleasing see and once you know that you know you become sober you become humble you become meek and you know how to function with other people around you amen so important to connect to the head 
so important to understand that connecting to the head is first and foremost offering yourself to god that's why he starts there no and before that he says know that all things are come from god it's not you don't make the world you you're not the beginning and the end of the world like don't keep saying me i think i feel nobody has asked you anything see what god wants what god thinks life is his not yours and mine we make it as though we are important in this world i always say if you go things will get better i promise you don't think in everything one move without me no it will move it will move it has moved in the past it will move now it will move in the future because there is a correct head called jesus who was is and forever will be amen thank god the head is correct that's why the church is alive even now it may look broken it may look defeated <laughs> it may look weak it may look but i promise you it's alive and active amen because jesus is the head and because jesus said something the gate of hades and hell will never prevail my church hallelujah amen never 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 will hell prevail over the church because jesus is not only the rock on whom the church is built but jesus is the head of the church hallelujah amen that's why every day when you get up you know you should bless thank worship love adore jesus and tell him thank you that you are the head of the church the church is always going to be overcoming amen the church is always going to be victorious the church is always walking in victory and who is this church you and i you and i are the church you and i are the body you and i are the church you and i are the body and we are complete in christ jesus see if only you know that every day when you get up grace has been given to us we are more than conquerors and able in christ jesus but what happens to us we are not connected to the head that's why we are all you know having strokes throughout the day paralytic strokes <laughs> if you don't connect to the head correctly how will you understand what the head wants if you don't connect to the head how will you know what is the function and the role if you don't connect to the head how that's why come i'll show you 1 corinthians 113 read but i want you to know huh. that the head of every man is christ head of every man is christ amen say you should know who is the head <laughs> head of every man is christ then the head of woman is man yeah because the man is in christ and the man is going to bring the love the presence the work the word the life of jesus christ in him through his life to the woman he is married because marriage was in god's plan adam didn't go and tell i'm lonely <laughs> God saw that he was lonely. God saw. Here we keep telling God, "I'm lonely. I'm lonely." Yeah, I understand. I'm not saying no. Some of us even pray, "My missing rib, where is she?" No, it will come. Don't worry, the missing rib will come. And God saw that Adam was lonely. God had instituted. God loved that Adam has a companion but God is the head amen God is the head of the family and blessed be the name of the Lord that Jesus is the head over the man a covering Jesus leading guiding shepherding that's why man hood please take up the role of a man I always say be the man in the house by leading being responsible providing showing the way and blessing 
every day, every day blessing, every day praying, every day showing forth the grace, the mercy, the love, the works, the word, and the spirit's work. Amen. Man. That's a man. That's manhood. Manhood is becoming to the likeness of Jesus Christ. Where, where the Bible tells us how Jesus nourished, cherished, provided, protected, blessed the church, his body. So is a man to a woman. Yeah, amen. But the head, see, learning from the head, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are the head. We are your body. So teach me, equip me, strengthen me, bless me. The same thing the wife is saying. Yes, Lord, teach. And then she learns submission. The man learns to lead, guide, submit, bless. See, then comes that, you know, understanding with one another. Why? Because both are connected to the head, Jesus Christ. Amen. Connected to the head. Longing, desiring, wanting to do what the head wants to do. In the family. In the community. In the church. It starts at home. Where we take the lead. See? Where we take the lead and say, Lord, I come to you. I come. I need you to lead. I need you to guide. I need you to bless. I need you to show. I need you to work in me. Amen. Read. And the head of Christ is God. Yeah. Every man praying or prophesying. Yeah. Having his head. Yeah. Covered. So now, and then he gives all other roles of how to go about. But understand the head, head, head. Head is Jesus. We are the body. We are the body. And we have to come. Come. Ephesians chapter 1. Ephesians chapter 1. Verse 22 and 23. Read. And he put all things under his feet. Yeah. And G gave him to be head over all things. To Can you church. see? God the Father put all things under Jesus. And gave him to be head over all things. Then. Which is his body. Yeah. The fullness of him who fills all in all. Then. And you he made alive. Yeah. Who were dead in trespasses. Yeah. You he made alive. See. All power was given to Jesus. Who is the head. And now once I who was dead. I am made. I am made. Say I am made alive. I am made alive to whom? To God in Christ Jesus. See, I am made alive to the head now. I am made alive to the head. So now, now I have a correct head. <laughs> Earlier I was dead. <laughs> I was dead. I was in darkness. I, I, I was in, in debt. I was far away from the knowledge of God, from the wisdom of God, from the understanding of God, from the ways of God, from the life of God. I was dead in my sin. I was dead in my dead works. But now I'm connected to the head. See, I'm connected to Jesus, the head, in whom now I receive life. Jesus, again and again, I'm telling you, loving brothers and sisters, Jesus did not come to make good people. Jesus came to make us alive. Alive to God the Father in Him. Alive by the works of the Holy Spirit. Alive. Alive. Where every day we see the life of God here on earth, in us, among us. Amen. If only you know and believe and see and receive it every day. Because you believe. I believe. That's why Paul tells the Thessalonian church. What does he tell them? What actually he tells them? Come, I'll show you. See what he tells the Thessalonians. Read. 1 Thessalonians chapter 2. Verse 10 onwards. Read. You are witnesses and God also. Ah. How devoutly and justly 
and blamelessly we behaved ourselves among you who believe. Can you see? See the lifestyle. How, how we, you witnesses know how devout, just, blameless, we behaved among you who believed. That's how our, our life was. We were just, we were blameless. And we behaved ourselves very, you know, blamelessly. You saw us, how we lived among you. That's exactly how we should live. Because God is at work in us. That's how our family should view us. That's how we should desire at least. We have our shortcomings, yes, but we, we are longing to imitate Christ. We need the impartation and the work of God, the Holy Spirit. That's why grace has come to you. Me, it's turning us to Jesus every day. And we desire, we aspire, we love, we cherish, we want to be like Jesus. Amen. We are praying to be like that. We want to walk in his ways. Where? In our homes. Where? In our workplaces. Where? In the body of Jesus Christ. And in the body of Jesus Christ, we, we, we walk devoutly. We walk justly. We walk blamelessly. Why? Please read. Listen. As you know, how we exhorted and comforted Huh. And charged every one of you. Yeah. As a father does his own children. Can you see? By example. Paul is saying by example I lived. As a father does to his child. We showed you. We charged you. We comforted you. We corrected you. You know later. Uh, earlier he said. As a nursing mother. Cherishes her child. Same chapter. It's in verse 7. How I took care of you. As a nursing mother. How I comfort, how I correct, how I bless, how I lead, how I show characteristics of being connected to the head. See, it comes forth from our lives. Otherwise, what is the use of saying, yes, Jesus, I believe. Believe what, son? That you're going to be as you are? No. There is a transforming work of yours happening in my heart. In my life, in my character, in my behavior, in the way I am, I am being transformed. I don't want to live like this. I don't want to be like the people of the world. I want to be a kingdom son. I want to be a kingdom daughter. I want to walk in the ways of my master. Train me, Jesus. Equip me, strengthen me, yoke me. Bless me, bring healing to me, and lead me. Amen. Pray, pray, ask. It's given to all those who believe. And Paul is saying, look at me. Please see, I'll show you. Read verse 7, then you'll understand. Read. But we were gentle among you, ah. just as a nursing mother yeah. cherishes her own children. Just as a nursing mother cherishes her own children. Then verse 8. So affectionately longing huh? for you, huh? we were well pleased to impart to you not only the gospel of God, but, but also our own lives. Why? Because you have become dear to us. Yeah, amen. See the way he lives with the church. Because you are very dear to us. That is exactly how the church should be to one another. You are very dear to us. You are very precious to us. You're dear to me, you're precious to me because you are a part of my body in Christ Jesus. So I will cherish, I will nurture, I will bless, I will pray, I will do good, I will reach out, I will do everything in me to see you also being healed and blessed. Amen. That should be our attitude towards one another. See, that's exactly what he's saying. I mean, on the other hand, he says, don't tear each other. Don't be difficult with each other. Come, I'll show you. Now please read verse 10. You are witnesses. Yeah. And God also, how devoutly and justly 
and blamelessly we behaved ourselves among you amen then as you know how we exhorted and comforted and charged every one of you as a father does his own children then that you would walk worthy of god who calls you into his own kingdom huh? and glory amen god has called you into the kingdom god has called you to walk worthily say justly blamelessly devoutly cherishing people nourishing people blessing people doing good to people and imitating jesus christ imitating jesus christ with your lifestyle amen desiring this wanting this that is what it means to be connected to the head to be connected to jesus our head amen now please see the next verse read for this reason ha huh. we also thank god without ceasing yeah because when you received the word of god listen carefully when i came and preached to you what happened read when you received the word of god which you heard from us yeah you welcomed it not as the word of men ha huh? but as it is in truth the word of god yeah. which also effectively works in you who believe amen it works in you because you believe and you have seen it in me you have seen the word of god effectively working in me through me towards you you believed so you also believe that god is same what he did for me he'll do for you amen say that you also walk devoutly you also walk blamelessly you also walk in humility you also walk in lowliness you also serve you also cherish you also be devoted comfort you also correct and you also lead amen amen why not yes that's exactly what god has called us to do to bless one another to do good to one another to pray for one another to encourage one another to exhort one another to wait for one another say and that is exactly what he is saying there now please say after saying this what does he say for you brethren became imitators of the churches of god ah you became say imitators you became that's it you became an imitator of all the churches of god their faith their lifestyle the way they are you became imitators yeah that's it that is exactly what happens that is exactly what happens imitate children imitate parents whether you like it or no they imitate all said and done so who you are what i am they will be i liked one thing which you know it's a, it's a very nice proverb a chinese proverb the fruit doesn't fall very far from the tree it will be there only under the tree only i mean aur kahan jayega bachcha if it's growing if it's falling from the tree udhar hi girega na how i am the child also will be like that whether you like it or no come on let's let's face it so now what is it that we need to honestly see we need to allow the mirror of god every day to show us first and foremost am i individually connected to the head jesus my lord my master my savior am i connected to him am i allowing him his word his spirit to lead guide bless provide nourish cherish heal deliver lead revive my soul every day amen and when you do that individually then collective becomes easy individually when you do it but if you don't then obviously there will be separation obviously there will be you know differences but that is what we need to do we need to strive pray long desire want to walk with jesus every day that we desire that life 
we aspire that life we want that life that we become sober that we serve that we offer that we are willing to yield that we are willing to tell jesus every day you are my head i connect to you and in you and through you will i connect to others jesus amen otherwise we will be showing only ourselves not not really uh, seeing the lord at work in us come i'll show you romans romans please see with me chapter 16 romans chapter 16 read verse 17 onwards romans chapter 16 verse 17 now i urge you brethren now i urge you dear brethren not those who cause divisions and offenses see not people who cause division and offenses see people among you who are always wanting to divide not such people who say they are believers believers but always causing division always you know uh, it's like he is written a lot tail bearers busy bodies not having any work to do just going about talking just going about slandering just not doing their jobs just not working they are just wasting lives not redeeming time not being useful for themselves or their family not doing any good for anybody in the church various things not people who are just just wasting away their lives read please read now i urge you brethren know those who cause divisions and offenses yeah contrary to the doctrine which you learned contrary to the teachings which you have learned and avoid them avoid them why for those who are such do not deserve our lord jesus christ do not serve do not so do not do not they don't serve jesus christ and his purposes they don't do good to the service of jesus christ because they are always dividing always offending always trying to disunite always i mean never bringing unity never bringing unity you know some of the other they always they don't want to see peace i mean we we are peacemakers blessed are the peacemakers for they are called sons and daughters of god blessed are those who are merciful for the mercy will be shown to them blessed are those who mourn for they will be comforted blessed are those who are pure in heart for they will see god blessed see you're blessed when you are working towards unity working towards peace why because every day you're connected to the head in him through him you are devoted you want to bring his word his spirit his life in you and in me and through me amen that's what we strive for we are a kingdom people i hope you know we are praying no our father in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven that is what our prayer is that the kingdom of jesus come and manifest the kingdom of joy the kingdom of peace the kingdom of righteousness the kingdom of peace that we are desiring longing waiting looking forward to when sin will be dealt with fully amen when jesus comes but we have already tasted it we already know it we already enjoy it deep down in our hearts and we are longing for it in us and among us and that's what we are aspiring for that's what we are praying for that's what we are living for that's what we want our families to come to know christ it's not that they should know christ yes that is there but what is it they should know jesus the way i truly know him i know what peace is because i have tasted peace i know what that true joy is when sin is dealt with and sin is kept at bay by god and he teaches me to walk in his righteousness amen i know i have tasted and seen 
that the Lord is good. And I know what it means to be blessed, to be healed, to be revived in the spirit, to be born again and to be filled with heaven's life by the Holy Spirit. Amen. I know. That's why I pray. That's why I desire. That's why I want this life for people around me. Otherwise, you know what will happen? Lord, they are all sinners. <laughs> Convert them. <laughs> that will be the only prayer. Yeah, we are saved. But what has he saved us from? The power of sin is broken. We are sons walking in the anointing, in the word, in the works of God, but desiring the work of God also to happen around us, among us. See, wherever we go. That's why Paul says, no, pray that they'll also understand the mystery of Jesus Christ. They will also understand the work of the cross. They will also understand the hidden mystery of Jesus which was kept from past, but in this time has been revealed to us. To us. We know it. What? That Jesus is alive. Amen. Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. I know it. That's why Paul says, no? truly I imitate him. You imitate me. I'm sending Timothy to you who is such a wonderful son, who is not like others, who lives fully for Jesus. Amen. And that is what we should every day desire, want, long to live. That's why he says, look for those who are offensive, who are not truly living or wanting to hear this doctrine, always causing division. Just avoid them. But you continue. You continue to aspire, want the life of Jesus. Because he is the head. You are connected to him. Please read. Read, girl. For those who are such, do not serve our Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. But their own belly. Own belly. And by smooth words and flattering speech, deceive the hearts of the simple. Now, please read the 19th verse. For your obedience has become known to all. What? Your? Your obedience has be, become known to all. You know the way you walk with Jesus Christ. The way you are devoted to Jesus Christ. The way you love Jesus Christ. The way you are, you know, yielding to him. The way you are longing for his word, his spirit, his work, his peace, his coming. Your lifestyle is, is showing forth that you believe he is alive. Amen. Read. Therefore, I am glad on your behalf, but I want you to be wise in what is good yeah. and simple concerning evil. And what will happen? And Listen. The God, and the God? And the God of peace will crush Satan under your feet shortly. Amen. God knows how to crush Satan. He will crush him ultimately. And God gives us the authority, the power to resist him. God gives us the power to resist evil. God gives us the power to resist all that is evil. Because he is with us, he is in us. God gives us the power to resist temptation. He gives us because he is able. Amen? And he gives us the power. He gives us the strength every day. How? Because we are connected to the head, Jesus. Help me, Jesus. Bless me, Jesus. Teach me, Jesus. Equip me, Jesus. Strengthen me, Jesus. Give me the peace, Jesus. Give me the wisdom, Jesus. Give me the revelation, Jesus. Give me the understanding, Jesus. Give me the faith, Jesus. Teach me to walk in your power, Jesus. And to resist Resist wanting to do evil in turn of evil. No. I will not want to do this, Lord. So please keep me from evil. I don't want to be offensive. I don't want to be unforgiving. I don't want to be angry. 
I don't want to hurt. I don't want to insult. I don't want to hit back. I don't want to humiliate. I don't want to. I choose to do what you want me to do. Help me, Jesus. Amen. Pray. Pray. Ask. Seek. Strength is given. Amen. In Jesus' name. He will. He will. Because he is able. He overcame. So he knows how to give us the grace, ability, strength to overcome. Amen. See, we need to ask. He is the head. How do we function without going to the head every day? <laughs> we need to go to the head regularly. He is the head. We are his body. See, we need him every day. Since he is the head, we need to connect regularly. Regularly we need to connect. Regularly we need to receive. Regularly we need to be told. Regularly we need to be strengthened by him. Head, 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 head. You know no, no part of the body will ever function without taking orders from the head. What will happen? Just think. Any part of the body that doesn't take orders from the head. Ulta palta ho jayega. So every day we need to connect to the head. Individually, collectively. So it starts with individually. See, going to the head. Going to the head, Jesus. Abiding in him. Abiding in his word. Remaining in his love. And wanting his fruits to come forth from our lives. Amen. Wanting, desiring. That's exactly what Paul said. That's exactly what Paul says. Come with me. You will see in Galatians. Galatians chapter 5. Read from verse 13. For you brethren have been called to liberty. Yeah. Only do not use liberty as an opportunity for the flesh. Yeah. But through love serve one another. Yeah. Through love serve one another. For all the law is fulfilled in one word. Hmm. Even in this. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Yeah, then verse 15. But if you bite and devour one another, huh? beware lest you be consumed by one another. See, if you bite and devour one another, be careful, you'll be consumed. Both of you will get consumed. I mean, you'll get consumed, you'll get pulled in, you'll get sucked into it. If you are also going to get sucked into it, then you will see at the end of the day, you'll be like... Ah, so if that is the end of the day every day, then let's begin the day every day connecting to Jesus. Yeah, Lord, I connect to you. Lord, I come to you. You are my head. Please rule, reign, govern, take control, bless, heal, deliver, protect my spirit, my mind, my thoughts, my intentions. My whole emotions be brought under the control of the Holy Spirit of God. I pray. Teach me to walk by the Holy Spirit today. Teach me to live in the Holy Spirit today. Teach me. Teach me. Teach me, Jesus. Lead me, Jesus. Bless me, Jesus. Walk with me, Jesus. Amen. Jesus walked with the Father, no? See? Jesus walked with the Father. Father... Father, 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 Father. No matter what happened, Father, Father. Then I think we also need to do the same. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Please read. Listen. I say then, walk in the spirit. Yeah, read that 15th verse once again. But if you bite and devour one another, beware lest you be consumed by one another. Yeah. I say then, I say then, please say, what is he saying? Read. Walk in the spirit. Walk in the? Walk in the? Walk in the? Walk in the? If you want to be connected, walk in the spirit. Walk in the Holy Spirit. Then read. And you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. That's it. You will not fulfill the lust of the flesh if you are connected in the Holy Spirit and you receive from Jesus. 
what you need to receive now please see what he says read for the flesh lusts against the spirit yeah and the spirit against the flesh then and these are contrary to one another yeah and see what are the works of the flesh read so that you do not do the things that you wish yeah but if you are led by the spirit you are not under the law so remember walk in the spirit be led by the holy spirit now see read further now the works of the flesh are evident what is it which are adultery adultery fornication yeah uncleanliness yeah lewdness yeah idolatry yeah sorcery yeah hatred hatred contentions, contentions jealousy outburst of wrath selfish ambition dissension heresies envy murder see there is anger there is hatred there is resentment there is jealousy there is evil there is murderous thoughts there is outburst of wrath there is wanting to do things if you don't want all this every day every day connect to the head jesus submit to the head that's why paul says offer yourself as a living sacrifice knowing that you don't want to conform to the ways of the world but you want a transforming work of the holy spirit of god don't think highly about yourself but in lowliness and in sobriety know that you're connected to jesus and you receive your gifting your grace from jesus amen then you will know how to connect to others and that is the preciousness of every day going back going back going back going back you think paul didn't have his own challenges paul had his number of challenges jews wanting to kill him gentiles wanting to kill him uh, his own brethren against him uh, he has established a church there they don't want him say he is going without food going without shelter going without clothes going without you know just 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 going like a mad man mad man but he doesn't lose heart he doesn't lose hope because he knows he is connected to the head amen that is jesus that's why you will find him saying something very beautiful in spite of all what's happening to his life please come with me i'll show you 2 corinthians chapter 11 yeah 2 corinthians chapter 11 and he goes on saying a lot of things yeah in hunger in fasting in sleeping in this in that uh, we'll just read from verse 26 read in journeys often yeah in perils of water yeah in perils of robbers yeah in perils of my own countrymen yeah in perils of the gentiles yeah in perils in the city yeah in perils in the wilderness yeah in perils in the sea hmm in perils among the false brethren yeah in weariness and toil yeah in sleeplessness often yeah in hunger and thirst yeah in fastings often yeah in cold and nakedness yeah all this is happening one day we don't sleep our words change next morning <laughs> i didn't get proper sleep that's why i spoke like that <laughs> then i don't know what all paul should have spoken <laughs> most of the time no no that reason that thing came out from my mouth is because i didn't get proper sleep poor paul then 39 lashes so many times <laughs> hunger yeah without food without clothes <laughs> being hounded like a mad man and the church that is established they are not responding to him uska halat socho and in all this he is writing and he is saying now read Read verse twenty-seven. In weir in weariness and toil, in sleeplessness often, in hunger and thirst, in fastings often. Yeah. In cold and nakedness, besides the other things. Ah. What comes upon me daily? What comes upon me daily? My deep concern for all the churches. What? Say my deep concern for all the. churches why because the church is the body of christ and i am a part of the body amen got it i am a part of the body all these things are happening to me but i am concerned about the church 
Because the church is a part of Jesus' body. And it is his body. And I am a part of, of that body. Amen. Say, I'm concerned. That's why I always carry the church in my heart. Paul prays. For every church. Wherever he went. The church of Rome. I long to visit you. I pray that one day I come and give you the faith. I was told about your faith. I'm so happy that God is at work in you. And I pray that one day I come and see you. Right now I cannot come. There you are. See? The longing, the desiring that every person who is connected to Christ is connected to me. Amen. And there is a longing, yearning, love, serving, wanting to do good, wanting to bless, wanting to do. Yes. All this is happening, but my heart yearns and is longing for the church of God every day. Amen. Why? Because the church is the body of Jesus Christ. Jesus is the head. Though we are many, we are one body. See? Though we are many, we are one body. And we are connected to one another in and through Jesus Christ. So there is always a desire. There is always a prayer on our hearts to see the body of Jesus Christ being blessed. To see the body of Jesus Christ spiritually maturing. To see the body of Jesus Christ walking in the fullness of the Spirit. To see the body of Jesus Christ living the life fullest to the glory that it is called for. Amen? That should be our prayer. That should be our desire. That should be our longing every day. The church. So whenever we look to Jesus every day, Jesus, bring your church into fullness that you want it to be. Amen. Let your life come in the church, Jesus. Let the word and the work of the Holy Spirit truly touch, transform our lives. May we not be like the people of the world. May we not lust. May we not long. May we not yield. May we not desire. May we not waste away. May we not laze. Be lazy. May we not, you know, spend our time just wasting away. Because may we learn to redeem the time. May we learn to walk in the Spirit. May we learn to be filled by the Holy Spirit. May we learn to be filled with God's Word. May we overflow with love for one another. Joy when we meet one another. Long to do good to one another. Pray for one another. Bless one another, encourage one another, wait on one another, strive to do good to one another. Amen. But we are all caught up. No, that's exactly what I'm saying. We are all caught up in our webs. Webs. All are caught in our own webs. So that, you know, that functioning is very limited. We aren't seeing the body. Of Jesus Christ, the church, the head, the wanting to see the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, wanting to see the outpouring and the knowledge of God's word, bringing freedom to people's lives, bringing deliverance and healing to people's life, wanting to see families blessed, wanting to see Jesus restore marriages, wanting to see Jesus heal marriages, Wanting to see children walking in the ways of Jesus Christ. See? Our young children should know Jesus Christ when they are small. And they should grow in the love of God the Father. Know Jesus Christ. And, and, and enjoy the comfort, the joy and the work of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Why not? But that's what I'm saying, no? We are all in our worlds. Each one in our own heads, we are disconnected from the head. So what is church? We have to go to church. You are the church. There is nowhere to go. You only are the church. I am the church. See, 
संडे को जाना है चर्च वेर एवर यू आर द चर्च इज वेर टू और थ्री आर गैदर्ड देर एम आई इन दे मिट्स से वेर वी आर चर्च चर्च कनेक्टेड टू जीसस लॉन्गिंग ईल्डिंग वेटिंग फॉर द वर्क ऑफ द स्पिरिट बींग नरिश्ड नर्चर्ड ग्रोइंग इन टू मेच्योरिटी एंड वॉन्टिंग एंड डिजायरिंग द वर्ल्ड टू बी एक्चुअली कमिंग फोर्थ इन एंड थ्रू आर लाइफ इन ऑल इट्स फुलनेस या योर वर्ड गोज एंड इट फुलफिल्स द वर्क दैट इट हैज बीन सेंट फॉर कम लॉर्ड कम लेट दे बी अ रेन लेट दे बी दैट स्नो लेट दे बी ट्रू नॉलेज कमिंग टू आर स्पिरिट एंड टू आर लाइफ दैट वी आर ट्रूली चेंज बाई द वर्क ऑफ द होली स्पिरिट चेंज लॉर्ड चेंज एस मे द चर्च बिकम अ लाइव टू यू जीजस मे वी नॉट बी डेड से just coming okay one one ritual service is over no 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 not service it's not a service it's a alive organ throbbing with life of the holy spirit and the power of god and the word of god in each one of our hearts towards the lord and towards one another life 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 giving church life giving church say life giving church life transforming church yeah that's who we are who receive life transformed by heavenly life and we give this life to others in and through our lives amen church that is who we are that is who we are and that's what we have to see what the word is saying about us every day please read read that part besides the other things what comes upon me daily my deep concern for all the churches who is weak and i am not weak who is made to stumble and i do not burn with indignation yeah if i must boast i will boast in the things which confirm my infirmity yeah the god and father of our lord jesus christ who is blessed forever knows that i am not lying yeah knows that i am not lying and his whole desire is the church his whole desire is to do what god wants him to do and that's what i think we we miss out on that we don't understand who we are who we are in christ jesus and who has called us his beloved who has elected us who has chosen us who has brought us near to receive his life every day and there is no that's why i said there's no longing there is no desiring there is no believing there is just somehow okay some scriptures some praying and some notes taking and some yeah yeah just talking once in a way and just praying for our needs and finishing church that's it church no that's not church that's not church church is actually if you see every home is burning with the presence of god in the book of acts of the apostles and the work of the holy spirit wherever the disciples went wherever the apostles went you will see wherever the church was established in homes you will see homes homes they gathered together they fellowshiped with god they fellowshiped with one another they communed with god they communed and ate the bread together with joy and great fear came of god upon them amen church great fear came of god upon them see they were in awe how i pray that we are blessed with god's fear on our life really that god gives us a, a sense of you know actually who he is not what we think who he is but who he is god then everything becomes very clear to this human mind 
This small mind of ours can think so many things which are ungodly about God. Absolutely we can paint and make our own God. But the moment we start reading the truth, then one day we fall. Honestly we fall. And regularly we fall at the word. And, and say thank you. Thank you for the revolution. Thank you for blessing. Thank you for teaching. Thank you for equipping Jesus. Thank you for putting light into this darkened heart. Thank you for illuminating. Thank you for the work of the Holy Spirit. You know, just the other day I was reading Psalm 61. I was so amazed where David says, You picked me up from the mud, you put me on the rock, and you are my strong tower, you are my shelter, you cover me under your wings, you protect me. And the next prayer is so liberating. Please see Psalm 61 verse 5. Please read. What, what is he saying? For you, O God, have heard my vows. Huh. You have given me the heritage. You have given me the heritage. Of those who fear your name. Amen. Of those who? Those who? Those who fear your name. See? You have given me the heritage of those who fear your name. Yeah, I'm in awe of your name. See? Moses said, come near so that the fear of God will be upon you. Yeah. You're, you, you're knowing you're coming to an awesome God. You're coming to a God. You're not just coming to a mountain. You're not just coming to, to a place to pray with an attitude where, ah, chalta ya, chalo. One casual attitude. Yeah. He's not like what you think. He gives you the understanding by the Holy Spirit and your heart is in awe of who he is as you open the scriptures. That he puts godly fear in you. Godly fear, which is again the work of the Holy Spirit of God. Say, that you know to honor his name, to revere his name, to worship his name, to bless his name, to desire his name. And to want to see his name hallowed here on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. Desire. See, the church desires that. The church prays that. Our Father in heaven. Pray like this. Hallowed be thy name. So that we truly revere you, fear you, honor you, love you, Father Jesus. And want to see more and more of you, Holy Spirit, in us and among us. Amen. Read. Please read that. You will prolong the king's life, ah. his years as many as generations. Continue. He shall abide before God forever. Ah. You will learn to abide before God. You will learn to live in the presence of God when you have the fear of God. Then. Oh, prepare mercy and truth ah. which you may preserve him. Yeah. So I will sing praise to your name forever. Ah. That I may daily perform my vows. Yeah, that every day I may come, God. Daily, see. Daily. Daily pick up your cross. Daily listen to my voice. Daily look at me. Daily learn from me. As you are yoked to me. And daily walk with me. Amen. That should be our prayer. Daily. 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 Yes. And that's what we should do daily. Come. 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 Holy Spirit of God, teach. Holy Spirit of God, equip. Holy Spirit of God, open my eyes. Holy Spirit of God, gather my thoughts and bring it under control. Holy Spirit of God, help me to concentrate. Holy Spirit of God, Devote my heart to read the word of God. Holy Spirit of God, open my eyes to see wonderful things in your word. Holy Spirit of God, help me to interpret. Holy Spirit of God, give me understanding. Holy Spirit of God, now enable me. Holy Spirit of God, strengthen me. Holy Spirit of God, lead me into obedience to Jesus. Amen. 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 Pray. And see every day. Pray every day and see what God will not do for you. Amen. What God will not do for you, He will do. Because that's what you're aspiring that you lead. 
you show you teach because you are my head jesus that's the reason i'm reading the bible please let's overcome all that childish ways okay that's why i always say leave that that you know reading the bible oh, i say hallelujah hallelujah and opening like this and closing like those oh, so, okay oh, that's gone far off by now i think we should be much more in our walk with jesus you know wanting wanting life wanting to walk wanting to live with jesus every day amen yes i aspire to i aspire to walk desire long for him to truly teach me in and through his word and his spirit how to live this life here because i cannot on my own i know how i mess it i know how i mess it trust me i know how i mess it even today but i know when he is there how sweet it is how beautiful it is and how lovely it is when the savior is on your soul and when he teaches you when jesus leads you guides you shepherds you and takes you to do things every day amen that's why i know he is a shepherd he knows where what is there he prepares the table he anoints our head and if he is around darkness also is light and in his presence there is fullness of joy see the cup overflows we are weak but he is strong we cannot but he can with god all things are possible amen to the one who believes believe 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 and come to jesus and that is exactly come with this we'll pray colossians please see loving brothers and sisters colossians chapter 1 colossians chapter 1 please read from verse 24 Listen carefully read I now rejoice in my suffering I now rejoice in my suffering for you for you and fill up in my flesh yeah what is lacking in the afflictions of Christ then for the sake of his body for the for the sake of, for the sake of his body which is the church got it i'm willing to suffer anything for the body of jesus christ the church can you see paul i'm willing to suffer anything for his body the that is the church then now read of whom of which i became a minister huh? according to to the stewardship from god yeah which was given to me for you yeah to fulfill the word of god yeah the mystery which has been hidden from ages then and from generations yeah but now has been revealed to his saints yeah now what is the revelation What is Paul wanting for the church to really become read To them God will to make known what are the riches of glory of this mystery Yeah among the gentiles which is which is Christ in you Yeah which is Jesus Christ in you my church Paul says the hope of glory Jesus Christ in us and among us is what becomes a sign for all to know wow it gives hope to people that the church is really you know empowered filled with all the grace all the love all the mercy all the wisdom of jesus amen church and people around are so amazed and in awe of what god is doing among his people amen and that is us church 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 amen now please read him we preach warning, jesus we preach warning every man yeah and teaching every man yeah. in all wisdom then that we may present every man perfect in christ jesus amen that we perfect every man to the head christ jesus to this end huh? i also labor yeah striving according to his working huh? which works in me mightily yeah amen see to this end i am working i'm striving and equipping and preaching and rebuking and blessing and you know encouraging every man and woman to come to the fullness of maturity in Christ Jesus amen 
Why? Because who is at work in me? The Holy Spirit of God, the power of God. Amen. So the power of God is at work in us. Trust me. He is at work in us. He is at work in us. If only you can see it. That's why we need to pray. Open my eyes to know. Open my eyes to know. Open my mind to see who I am in Christ Jesus. Amen? We are the church. The body of Jesus Christ. Who reveal Jesus to the fullest here on earth. Jesus left his body here to fulfill his work. To complete his work till he comes. Amen. Jesus left us here to finish the work and to fulfill the work that he began. Amen. To fulfill the work. To bring the Father's kingdom. To hallow his name. To do his will here on earth as he wants it in heaven. Amen. Yeah. So let's pray and ask the Holy Spirit of God. Every day to give us the grace, ability to connect to Jesus in and through his word and his spirit and to be built by him. Amen. Let's pray. Let's take a little time. Just close your eyes. See how we view church. When we talk about church, what comes to mind to us? Is it an organization? A place where people meet? Or is a church the body of Jesus Christ connected to the head? Men and women who are alive in Jesus. Men and women who are filled with the power and the work of God, the Holy Spirit. Who are burning with heavenly fire and his living word. Devout, walking blamelessly. Nourishing, cherishing, serving in humility. Not puffed up, not thinking great about ourselves, but wanting Jesus, loving Jesus, and wanting His word and works in and among us to build us up. What's my attitude? How do I truly see Jesus? Is he truly my head? My head, head of my family, head of our church, head of the church universally? Do I see everybody in him, through him, whom he has called, fellowshipping, communing, Wanting his life here on earth. Wanting his living word and the spirit. To break every power of darkness. And to let light shine into men's heart. And to see his kingdom come. His will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Let that be our longing. Let that be our prayer today. Let your mercy fall on us, Jesus. Teach us to offer ourselves every day to your word and works in us and among us. Jesus, in your precious holy name, we pray. Amen. 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 Let's come.
to the lord's table as we sing this child your eyes are on this child. your grace abounds your in grace me. abounds to me oh 
Oh Lord, please light your fire. Oh Lord, please light the fire. That once burned bright and clear. That once burned bright and clear. Replace the lamp of my first Replace love. Replace the lamp of my first love. That burns with holy that fear. Burns Father, bring us to see the truth in Christ Jesus by the power of your word and by the convicting work of the Holy Spirit. Teach us to see the truth of who we are. We are the church, the body of Jesus Christ. He is our head. Teach us. Show us areas where we are actually living far away from Him. Just doing whatever we think, whatever we feel, whatever we want. Absolutely disconnected from Him. Living like your word says in Hosea, silly and stupid. As your word says, foolish, not wise. As your word says, cold. As your word says, far away. But on the other hand, you want us, your children, to be wise, hot, filled overflowing with the work of your word and your spirit. Forgive us, Father. Teach us, Father. Equip us, Father. Strengthen us, Father. Correct us, Father. Discipline us, Father. A loving father chastises his children. May all areas which are lame be strengthened and healed. May all areas which are dead be made alive. Resurrect us, Lord, in the spirit. In areas where we are slumbering, lazy, laid back, disbelieving, doubting, even disinterested regarding you, your word, Jesus, your spirit's work to us as a family, as a church. Forgive us, Lord. Bring your light. Convict us. Correct us. Comfort us, but revive us. Revive us once again, Lord. To know who we are in you. And who you are. The resurrected Lord. Savior. The Lamb of God. Seated on the throne. The Lamb because of whom my name is written in the book of life. The lamb whose wrath is going to come on all those who are ungodly, unbelieving, wicked, lawless. But we are saved, redeemed, blessed, made new, no condemnation, enjoy eternal life. Our supplies are being met, blessed with every spiritual blessing not to be separated from the love of God in Christ Jesus. We are members of one body in Him. Teach us to value what we know, 
help us to know see and believe every day to walk in this truth and to live in this truth Christ in us the hope of glory the risen savior Jesus rule reign over us lead guide shepherd us bless teach equip strengthen us every day bless us bless our families bless our children bless the church every way to truly understand the truth and wake up to the truth to the life of Jesus to the kingdom of Jesus bless us lord bless us thank you for breaking of yourself thank you for giving of yourself thank you for supplying all our needs teach us make us whole in you jesus bless our minds bless our hearts keep us from all that is evil watch over our going out and coming in and lead us in your truths in mercy and in love strengthen us build us mature us by the holy spirit bless the bread bless the wine thank you for this time in jesus precious holy name we pray amen let's eat and drink of the lord Spirit move in your temple Spirit move in our lives in our lives Spirit move Spirit move We are calling We are calling Spirit move Spirit move We are here We are here. Spirit move Spirit move in your temple in your temple Spirit move in my life Spirit move in my life in my life Spirit move we are calling Spirit move we are calling we are calling Spirit move we are here Spirit move we are here Thank you Holy Spirit Bless us equip us strengthen us build us fellowship with us as we go out from this place Remind us teach us lead us correct us discipline us strengthen us help us to walk in with and to become more like jesus the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god our father and the fellowship of god the holy spirit remain in us with us both now and forever in jesus holy name we pray Amen amen and amen amen peace of jesus be with us amen peace lord bless you and keep you make his face shine upon you be gracious to you Lord turn his face toward you and give peace. Ah